The class we're going to be looking at today is the Magical Choir, uh, and that is our top choir at South. It's our only mixed choir, meaning we'll be doing uh, both guys' and girls' voices. Um, and so today we're going to look at polishing and cleaning our music for the upcoming Pops concert. And during that, the kids are going to be refining what they already know and making sure that they make more musical decisions about how to make it sound better. And part of getting them to sound good is to, to get them to trust each other. So we spend a lot of the time at the beginning of the year obviously working those fundamentals, but beyond that, the kids have to trust each other. Uh, they need to be able to look at each other and say, if I mess up, you're not gonna laugh, um, or if I don't know this, that you can help me. And so really trying to cu cultivate that that family culture or of, of this I got your back is, is really important. So I think when we're learning a new song, it's really important to listen to each other, not just hear our own voices and try to be a soloist. It's I think it's an important skill to learn because in real life, you're not just, you can't just listen to yourself and kind of go through life that way. You have to listen to other people and what they're saying, or when you're in the music room, what they're singing or playing, you have to listen for other people. And I think that that's a really valuable skill. Feedback is the most important thing when, when we're doing this medium, right? It's being able to look at the kids and say, hey, let's assess and this needs to be retaught or this needs to be relearned. And then also them being confident enough to say, hey, Mr. Gumbin, can we run this again? I need this for me. Or hey, Mr. Gumbin, I heard across the room that this was kind of weird. And so when I give that feedback, I make sure that it's fun, it's it's interactive, and they can at least laugh off a mistake and, and know that, yeah, that was, we need to run that again. Um, and on their end, I'm, I'm making sure that we are able to just have this environment where we can openly talk. So it's, it's a lot of accountability on both ends. So using the lesson that we learned today in the future, I think it's just easier for us to learn communication skills. It's like group bonding where we learn a lesson and then we can take it forward and apply it to our music. But I think that that can extend beyond the classroom because when someone tells you to do something a better way, then it just it makes it easier to do. It's an easier way to do that. You know, I think it's uh, it's actually super important that the kids take what we do in the class and use it outside of music. Um, a lot of my philosophy is that we aren't necessarily creating solely music educators or future music educators or even future musicians. We're kind of working to make sure that anybody who is in our music class is able to go out and do whatever it is they want to do at, at the highest level. And because of that, I'm using this choir class and any music class that I do teach to teach things like interpersonal skills, collaboration, responsibility. And if they can hone that in using my medium, that is music, they can do that in whatever field they decide to go into. So for me personally, I want to go into music education. So I think that this class is a really great outlet and Mr. Gumbin working with him for three years has been a really great experience because I know even if somehow my, my goals and aspiration to go into music ed doesn't quite work out the way I want it to, I know that the lessons I take from this class can be applied in any career path I choose. Like communication skills, friendship, like all of those apply to everyday life, not just through music. 